Good evening and a welcome to Compline on this beautiful Tuesday evening. Let's have a moment of quiet as we begin, shall we? I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O God and Spirit, endure you the three. From the crown of my head, O Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, O Jesus, my King. O Jesus, do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, <coughs> O God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour you need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin nor sin's shadow lie down with me. O God of life this night, O darken not to me thy night light. O God of life this night, close not thy gladness to my sight. O God of life this night, my door to me, O shut not tight. O God of life this night. Tonight we are looking at Matthew 7 verse 9. Which of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? There are those who are afraid to pray to God because they don't feel that they are sufficiently artful to win his approval. <coughs> Excuse me. They fear saying something wrong or asking for something that would displease him. God delights in hearing your prayers. He tenderly contemplates the desires of your heart and thoughtfully arranges how they are fulfilled. Though he never grants requests that ultimately cause you harm, he gladly provides, well, let me say it again, he gladly provides what is absolutely best for you. Tonight, trust and pray to him. You don't have to be eloquent, as I prove most days. <laughs> You simply need to be sincere. Then accept how he responds as his very at his very best on your behalf. Matthew 7 verse 11 says, How much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? Let's have a moment of prayer as we move into a time of quiet. Dear God, thank you for hearing my prayers. Whether your answer is yes, no, or wait, I know you are providing the very finest for me. Amen.
say the Lord's Prayer together, shall we? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Be it on thine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. Jesus, son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being with me today. Wherever you are, wherever you're watching, please take care of yourselves and those around you. And please continue to pray for all those and all those displaced who call the Ukraine their home. Good night and God bless you.